um, this is my theory, based on no evidence whatsoever, yes. uh, partly also because the cacophony around journalism and people coming up and writing stuff and shouting at each other via social media or on Twitter and having ridiculous spats um, and saying stuff and then finding out it isn't true. In, amid that cacophony, more value is being placed by a lot of people on a trusted brand that gives it to you straight, that doesn't shout at you, but kind of just presents it in a fairly straight, impartial way. And so my, my view about journalism is that the old media will survive longer than people think. And even when it dies, there is going to be a place for journalism. And there is going to be a place for the curation of that journalism, for people to kind of guide you through it. Now, I don't think we know what the world is going to look like. I don't know whether it's going to be a Radio 4 in 25 years' time or whether it'll be news programs with the running order, or whether it'll be what we call newspapers that have a front page and a features page and a, a sports page. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but I think that that role of, if you like, piecing together the news and giving it some shape uh, is actually going to be a valued, is gonna be a valued economic activity for quite a while. I think that you and I will want someone to tell them this is a big story, this is not such a big story, this is a fun story, and we're not just going to want to pick and choose random stories that are sort of thrown at us in the, the or out of the mobile phone. And maybe it'll be some of you guys here today. Your turn to ask the questions now. We've got a couple of mics, so just put your hand up if you want to ask a question and we'll get a mic to you.